The troubles in Northern Ireland between 1969 and 1998 claimed over 3,500 lives. Many of the killings on both sides of the Catholic-Protestant divide remain unsolved, leaving many families looking for truth and justice. Pat Malloy attends the Wave Trauma Centre in Belfast. His Irish Catholic son, John, was murdered by a British Protestant mob in 1996. To this day, the known killers have not been brought to justice amidst claims of collusion with the British security services. He says the Legacy Act was like being attacked by the British state all over again. That was a real kick up the backside for us. And whoever brought that in, let him walk in my shoes and let him know what I'm going through because of the murder of my son and not getting any information from him and then telling me that the people who killed my son were going to walk away free. The new Northern Ireland Secretary of State, Hilary Benn, has pledged to repeal and replace the Legacy Act. Politicians on the Irish nationalist side of the divide say they will do everything they can to ensure that the British government sticks to its promise to abolish the Act. It is completely critical that they repeal, replace uh, and frankly do away with this abhorrent uh, Legacy Act. It was one of the worst things the previous Tory government did. It was designed to insulate British soldiers from accountability. The Irish government has already begun interstate legal proceedings against the British to abolish the Act. With the Irish Taoiseach meeting the new British Prime Minister in London next week, hopes are high that a legal contest with the British will now be no longer necessary. The Irish take the view that abolishing the Act is crucial for the dignity of victims. I think the Labour government now has a big majority in the House of Commons. Uh, this is about victims and their needs. Um, and I think that that's foremost in our minds in all of this process. And I think it will be now foremost in the minds of the British government. The British government has indicated that it intends to abolish the controversial Legacy Act. In doing so, it has raised the hopes and expectations of many, many families here in Northern Ireland that someday soon they will get answers to questions about the controversial killings of their loved ones in controversial circumstances. Only time will tell if the British will live up to their word. This is Ken Murray for Euronews in Belfast, Northern Ireland.